Hi, soul family. Well, I did a reading for tonight's message to dream on, and I don't like it. And this isn't about me, you know, spirit choosing cards and me throwing them back. This is about my attitude. I needed to come outside. I'm tired. I'm cranky. And uh, I chose the deck. Wow, yellow warbler. That was a bright one, yellow warbler. It's about speaking your truth and being happy about it. Needed to get outside. I said early this morning, you know, I was going to go for a walk and I didn't do it because I, 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 I needed to work. My priorities are backwards. You know, spirits said get out and go for a walk and I needed to listen and I didn't do it. And I sat in here trying to work and the work was dead. It was dead. I sat here wasting my day, really. You know, so when spirit says go, go out and relax and take advantage of what you've got in front of you and we'll take care of your work, believe them. Because you can sit there and argue with them and sit in the house and say, no, I got to work or sit in the office and say, you got to work, but you're not going to get anything done. And I didn't get paid for anything, you know, a few readings. But if I had gone out and done what spirit said to relax and rejuvenate myself, I would have been in a better frame of mind when I did the reading just a little while ago. It was not the frame of mind that I want to send out. I've uploaded it. And yeah, you know what? There were a lot of really good messages, but they came in a kind of a negative way. So I thought, screw it. I'm coming outside and I'm going to do my reading out here, right? Little Miss Cranky Pants. I thought about her and I thought, I don't want to act like her. I don't know who she is in my life, but she's not me because I'm not that cranky. But I was today, I was Grumpy Cat. And I thought, no, I don't want to be Grumpy Cat. So we're gonna, I, I also re reorganized my uh, <laughs> my workplace here. This is Lily's dish, gotta move it over there. Um, because my aloe vera was dying in the house. I took it into the house and it's, it's literally one by one, the branches are breaking off. And it's kind of like me, you know? Or, or, or all of us, we die if we're kept inside. I can't be kept inside. And I thought, you know, Lily was eating it. That's why she got sick. And so I moved it, but she's not doing it anymore. She knows better. And if I don't bring this outside where it can get some life, it's going to be dead. All the branches are, are getting so sad. It used to sit out here. I really, I literally found this on the side of the mountain. It hadn't been watered since God knows when, and it, and it was living. And now look at this. It's been in the house sheltered and it's too sheltered. It hasn't been able to toughen up. It hasn't been able to be strong. The one that's been outside getting its ass kicked in the weather is strong as hell. Look at this, strong. So sometimes when you shelter, it's like sheltering your children. And then they're not able to get out and, and, and handle stuff that hits them. When, when life hits them, they fall apart, right? So I'm moving stuff around out here. Um, I gotta tell you guys something. Somebody contacted me on Facebook because I put an ad out everywhere for my, uh, you know, looking for a new place. And uh, P.S. We're working with the magical mermaids and dolphins because we just want to have a little bit of fun right now because the dolphins talk about having fun. And that's how you manifest, by playing. And I didn't do it, I didn't listen, and I didn't manifest. So I'm gonna pay attention to my own freaking words. Anyway, this person um, said, hey, I saw that you, you put an ad out because when I was looking for a place to go, I put an ad out into the Sedona, um, you know, paper online thingy in on Facebook and I did it in Idlewild too because that's where I always go right that's where I go out to Pine Cove so this person um, contacts me and she says I saw your ad in the, in the Idlewild whatever the heck it is you know site and she says I've got a friend who just built a little tiny house on her property and she wants to rent it out and I, it's in my price range and I had been have I not been talking to you guys about little tiny house right and Spirit says, you know, take in all the options. Don't rush. Don't make any quick decisions. I kept saying, you know, I always go to Sedona. That's where I go to download and, and connect. But I never seem to stay there. And Spirit keeps blocking me. And, and I kept getting stay. Whoops, sorry. I kept getting from Spirit, stay, stay. So here's something else has opened up. Now, I am going to Sedona this weekend. I am going to go and I'm going to check it out and see what this place has to offer. Right? If this is something that I would like. But I already told the guy, I, I want to come back and think about it. So I'm going to take it as, and he even, he said, just take it as a, you know, a chance to see your friends, connect, and have a little bit of a vacation. And then I'm going to come back and think about it. And I want to check out this one in Idlewild. So she's writing back and forth to me, and I, I haven't been able to get a hold of the woman. I left a phone number for her. And uh, I said, you know where it's at? And she, and have you seen it? And she goes, yeah, it's really cool. And she said, it's brand new. So, you know, like I said, I shouldn't get less than what I have here, right? I always, Spirit always gives me something a little bit better. And I kept saying as I stood on the rocks in Pine Cove, you know, that place where I always do our weekly reading, 
I, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna live here one day. I'm gonna have this view. I'm gonna look at this one day. Well, guess where the little tiny house is? Pine Cove. <laughs> so when spirit says, be careful what you wish for, you might just get it, you know? It's out there. So now what the universe is basically just saying is, Sherry, you've got options. So don't freaking settle. I will never settle, P.S. Also, when I was working earlier today, I, um, doing the reading, you guys might have seen my beautiful amethyst bracelet that I was wearing on my uh, wrist, my left wrist. Well, I was talking to someone about my twin, and I was talking about loyalty, and I was saying, um, I don't care, I'm on his side, I've been shown he's innocent, of whatever it was, you know, whatever he may have been accused of, he's innocent, and I don't care what the evidence is, my, my loyalty is with him, and I said, that's it. And I put my hand down, and when I put my hand down like that, the bracelet broke off my wrist and fell into a million pieces. And I was like, what happened? And she says, you just broke something. And think about it. A bracelet, it's a tie. And I just broke a tie that bound. Whatever tie that was, it broke. When I said that I was loyal, my loyalty was with him 100%. I don't care what anybody else says. So I took what was left of my bracelet and I stuck it on my, my chain. And don't you find it intriguing that it's got, it's hanging from the roses. Remember the, um, the unicorn, the white unicorn, my twin that had the roses around his neck and she had the roses around. So I'm thinking maybe I'm the unicorn. Maybe I'm the magical unicorn with the roses around my, around my neck holding on to manifestation, which is amethyst is a, is a, is a tool for manifestation. It's also calming energy. Pretty cool. Hey, so now I've got another little pendant and my bracelet's gone. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Correct for neutrality on the levels. We're out here with the wooden wind chimes and, and the, oh, it's so pretty out here right now. Hi, little chick, wanna say hi? Hi. Yeah, this is much better energy. So I'm just gonna read the pictures, you know, the way I always do. What's that one? All right, from the very bottom. Set your sights higher. There you go. Like I was saying, I don't wanna be in a place where I have to share a room. I mean, a home, right? I want my own. And then, you know, it's interesting because I saw that little cabin and I heard about it and I thought, that's cool. But you know what? Right before I got the call, I said to the universe, you know what I want to manifest? I want to manifest a beautiful cabin in a beautiful setting for my twin and I and our two cats. That's what I want to manifest. <laughs> so increase your standards. Set them higher. Right? Don't expect less for yourself. Don't settle. Didn't I just say don't ever settle? Reach for the highest star. Look at the rainbow in that star. Rainbow, promise of good things after a storm. She's riding that wave, right? Look at the wave down here. The, 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 you know when the foam and the, when it crashes on shore? She's way above it. So she's between. She's a mermaid and she's a fairy. Oh, I didn't I say that? Is there, is there a fairy that's a mermaid? So that's me. She's out of the water. She's got her fairy wings and she's out of the water. And she's reaching for the highest star. And it's a multicolored, technicolor star. Her dreams are up there in the stars and she's reaching for them and she's telling you, same thing, do not settle. Don't expect less for yourself. My ex-husband told me, you're gonna have to settle, Sherry. Everybody does. And I thought, nope, I don't. And I won't ever settle. Why would I settle? I deserve the best, right? And so do you, you deserve the best. You've been trying to rationalize, rationalize something in your life, thinking that, you know, well, this, well, that, no, no. The situation is not okay. You think it's okay? It's not. You've settled for less than what you want. And you don't have to compromise. Not in this situation. Spirit's telling you. They'll help you heal or replace any troubling situations that are going on in your life. All you need to do is ask for their help. I asked for Ganesh. I said, you know what? Remove the obstacles. Remove the obstacles out of my way. And bring me what, what I deserve. I know what I deserve. Spirit wants you to visualize and dream about what is it that you truly desire deep in your heart. It's not to be crammed into a little tiny place that you can barely turn around. It's not to share a house with somebody that's not even your lover. Fuck no. I want my own place with my lover and my cats. And I want it to be spacious enough that we all have our own privacy. Right? Because in privacy is important to me. It's time alone is important to me. Even within a relationship. And it would be my twin as well. We're both very much that way. Spirit says don't worry about being disappointed. Don't, don't do that thing. And you know, when people say... Um, you know, I don't expect much because because then I'm not disappointed. Jeez, you know, why don't you just shoot for your foot then? Because, you know, that's as far as you're going to go. 
I say, screw that. Grab your bow and arrow and shoot for the stars. That's the Artemis coming out in me. That's the fairy coming out in me, right? And I'm going to go up there and grab that star. I'm just going to go grab it and say, that one's mine. I want that crystal right there. The one up there, the multicolor crystal, the one that's different than all these ones, the weirdo, the one that's eccentric and eclectic, and 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 the, I, this is the this is the white crane star. That's the one I want, the one that stands out different than everyone else. Other people may think he's awkward or strange or weird, and he may even feel that way, but I don't. I can obviously see that he's way better than those ones. Look how how big he is. Look how he stands apart. Look at the gifts that he has. Holy moly! Or she, right? That's the one you want. You deserve the best. You deserve a great life. And spirit is there to help you get it. So don't be feeling intimidated about moving forward to a higher place in your journey. This is what you're supposed to do. You might be at a plateau, but now it's time to jump. Leave that safety. Leave the water. Jump up and reach for the stars. You're out of that water. You got wings. You got wings. You're not simply a mer person. You're also from the forest, right? So together... You're going to jump out and get into the brackish water where there's a little bit of forest and a little bit of ocean. You're going to go for all of it. Reach for the best. You're qualified and you deserve everything in front of you. Open your arms to receive them. That's what the universe says. Open your hand and say, here, I'll take it right here, thanks. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. I already can tell you that this reading is way better than the one before. Yeah, there's a lot of really good messages and I'm going to save it there and one day maybe it'll come out, but not today. Not today. Correct neutrality on all levels. What is the next most important, most helpful, most beneficial message for us to have in our heads as we go to rest tonight? Ooh. Come on, is it that one? Nope, it's not. It's this one. Right on, baby. Right on. Treasure chest. Alrighty then. It's not like anyone's going to say no thanks to this, right? There's a treasure chest, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance coming to you. Now, Abundance comes in many different ways. She's naked. She's naked. I find it's interesting that the, that the shadow puts a, puts a bra on her, but she doesn't have a bra on. She's completely naked. She's open. She's exposing herself because that's what you have to do. You can't be hi hiding. You've got to get out there and be seen. Allow yourself to be seen. Treasure chest. So what is the treasure chest that's coming to you? Could be a wealth of knowledge. Could be a wealth of information. Could be actual monetary gifts that are coming to you it could be love what is it that you're desiring most unforeseen something that you weren't expecting I love that old trunk I was looking at an old trunk like this on um, on the Facebook you know sales for sale sites and it looked like this and I thought you know my old my table is broken my, my trunk is broken I like that I think that's really cool I used to have trunks like that I ran, I ran uh, several antique booths in Canada. That was my business. I like that. So what it's telling you is basically whatever that you've asked for, spirit is supporting you. So if you've asked for information, if you've asked for support, if you've asked for uh, help financially, if you've help, asked for help in your relationship, if you've asked for help finding a new place to live, if you've asked for help in selling your car, Whatever it is that you're, you've asked for, Spirit has heard you and assistance is here for you right now. And it's coming in ways that you don't expect. I like it that way. It's kind of cool when all of a sudden out of the blue, when you're not really thinking things are going your way, all of a sudden something great shows up, right? And you know what's interesting is the money that you don't think you see, it's already there. You just don't see it yet. It's there. So just affirm, thank you for all the support. The abundance, the money that you bring to me. I'm grateful for the riches that I that I deserve, right? Because I use these in a way to help myself and other people. I'm not I'm not selfish. I'm not frittering away my money. The money that comes to me goes to good use, so I appreciate it. Thank you so much for bringing it to me in abundance. I want it to come in abundance, and I accept it in abundance. Thank you. Now, it may show up in money. It may show up in op new opportunities that will bring the money to you. It may show up in ideas that will bring the money to you right it may show up in gift form others may give you gifts so bless it and honor it and say thanks for it as they come don't ever push them away don't say no thank you don't feel uncomfortable because spirit is telling you right now you're about to get a windfall so okay it's coming accept it thank you so much for whatever it is for your help i spent most of my day today um doing free readings for my soul family and i i, I turned off my work site because the people that i was uh working with they needed my help. It was important. And spirit, you know what's interesting is 
I actually I didn't turn off my um, the phone line so I could have been interrupted and I wasn't because spirit knew that was the most important thing for me to do and I and I'm not worried about it because spirit will take care of me just like they're take, telling you when you put your priorities straight when you follow your spiritual path and, and your heart is in the right place spirit knows what you need and they will bring it to you in abundance whatever it is All right, next message. Correct for neutrality on all levels. I'm glad I came out here. Oh, don't like the noise ordinance that doesn't isn't uh, isn't uh, paid attention to. Oh, I just thought to myself, maybe I could put my earplugs in and come lay out on Lily's Chase Lounge, but she doesn't share her Chase Lounge with anyone. That's her Chase Lounge. This isn't out here for me. That's not where I lay. That's hers, right, Lily? Lily. Can mommy have that chase lounge and use it too? Hey, chicken. Hey. Can we use your chase lounge? Can I use the chase lounge too? Is that possible? No. Usually it's not. She gets quite annoyed if somebody tries to share her spot. So, I guess I, because it's so nice. You know, that's the one thing about being up in, in the mountains or up somewhere like in Sedona where it's very, very quiet. You can lay out and you don't hear any drilling or hammering or, you know, I mean, there are people that are building now and then, but it's very peaceful generally. You don't hear car noise. It's actually really peaceful right now out here. Look at, there's, um, I just want to show you. One of my friends, he's a neighbor. I don't know his name, but I used to, cruise by him a lot. He'd be in his canoe and I'd be in mine. See, he just went by in the yellow canoe. So that's another thing. I don't want to give up my ruby slipper. You know, I don't want to give my ruby slipper away. My landlord says, well, you could just leave it with the house. And I thought, no, I'm not leaving it. It's mine. And one day I'll have a lake. I plan on that lake. There he is. See, going by in his yellow canoe. <laughs> that's nice. Actually, I think his, yeah, his is a canoe. That's beautiful. It is very peaceful. Thank you for this. I appreciate it. I never, ever take it for granted. I never, ever do. I'm always very, 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 very grateful for what I've been blessed with. And that's why spirit continually brings me something better. Because I'm grateful when I get what I get. You know? I don't take anything for granted. <laughs> Look at this. What? Is it time to eat again for the sixth time? I was so worried about Lily not being able to, you know, not eating and how she was fading away to mat almost nothing. Hey, chicken, chicken. She's licking her empty bowl. Hello, are you waiting for your food? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm like so tired that I'm slap happy, sorry. Okay, here we go. All right, on. Okay, you guys, now you need to really think about this one. Make a wish. Now, re there he is, there's my unicorn. There he is. All right, so we're pointing right at you, right at your third eye, and we're saying, this is a very, very magical moment. Make a wish. Make a wish. Look at the mirror. Look at the mirror. I love that. My wish is that I am in this place with my twin and my cats. That is my wish. I'm the mermaid. There's my twin. We're in the forest. We have a lake. We've got beautiful trees around us. There's big mountains over here, grassy area here. It looks like mammoth to me. That's my wish. What's your wish? This is a magical moment. You don't have to share your wish. Sometimes people think that you shouldn't say your wish out loud, but I say my wishes out loud. I say everything out loud to spirit because it's an affirmation. And when you affirm it out loud, you're telling the universe that this is what I believe. This is what I'm calling in. This is what I want. It's a prayer. So state it like it's true. I will be in this place. Thank you for bringing my twin and I and my cat, our cats, to this beautiful lake where we can use the ruby slipper that I've seen us in playing and splashing and those mountains that are by there that we can hike. I love this. This actually looks like Sedona too. Interesting. There's so many places that this could be, but there is no lake in Sedona. Wherever that magical place is, that's where I want to be. So thank you. Thank you for bringing us that. I'm very, very grateful for your continued support that makes this wish come true. The communication needs to happen first and really excited about that. Thank you so much. So go into a quiet space right now. This is the moment. Get quiet, close your eyes, and see it. 
It's already happened. Thank you for bringing this. Thank you so much. I've waited my whole life for this. And it's, everything is worth waiting for. And this is it. And this is what you brought us. Thank you so much. Now release it like a balloon. Let it go flying up. And it's a balloon that's going to automatically just disintegrate because we don't want any helium balloons going out into the universe and falling back down into the lakes and into the rivers and into the ocean where they get tangled up with the turtles and the other animals. No, we don't want that. So we're going to ask that it disappears once it floats away with your wish. And as soon as the wish, the balloon pops, the wish goes to spirit. Ooh, that's what it is. So right now, in order for you to get this wish, after you've thanked the universe for this, if you need to take action to make this come about, because we are co-creators, right, with the divine, we don't sit in our big chair and wish for everything to come to us. We have to be actively involved. So if there's something that we need to do in order to make this wish come about, we will be given strong, repetitive guidance. We'll get feelings. We'll get thoughts popping into our mind. We'll get signs. We'll get visions. Maybe it'll come in our dreams. We'll hear it on the, people will, will recommend something to us. It's very important that you follow that guidance. You'll know what it is in order to bring that wish into the physical. That must happen. That must happen. I believe that that will happen. I believe it. I believe. What is that song? I believe. <laughs> All right, one more. Let's do one more. And then I gotta feed Lily because she's having a temper tantrum. You've only eaten six times. Yeah. Correct for neutrality on all levels. Look at the the sun when it goes golden on the on the down there in the water. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna zoom you in. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. Everything all lit up like that. Uncle Phil, take a look at this. They've got really cold weather and the snow's already come in Wisconsin. So yes, we are blessed. I like the snow too, but yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. Okay. I have to just keep bringing your attention to that because there's so much that we need to be grateful for wherever we are, whatever climate you have, there's something there that you can be grateful for. I'm grateful for what every single place that I've lived and I've had very different climates. You know, I lived in North Vancouver, British Columbia. I lived on Vancouver Island. I lived in Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. I lived in Sedona, Arizona. I lived, lived here. Where else have I lived? I've lived at the beach in, in Encinitas, Lucadia, California. I've lived in so many different climates and I've loved every single place I've been. I have been able to find something magical. I'm gonna do that at one again because that one just didn't know what to think. Prickles in my left hand. Okay, this is a big one. This is a big one. This is a big one. Yes, it is. It's a very big one. It's a very, very, very big one. In order to manifest anything in your life, in order for anything to move forward properly in your life, you must surround yourself with positive energy. Look at them coming out of Atlantis. They're leaving Atlantis. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Whoops. Twelve. Magic and miracles. They're leaving Atlantis. So you may need to leave, leave where you are to surround yourself with positive people and situations. You need to avoid the negative energy that's around you. Maybe this is where you come from. Atlantis is where they come from, but they're leaving. They're leaving in droves because the energy there has become negative. The light is shining over here. It's time to go. Look at this here. There's a light that they're following. Follow the light to the positive energy. Where is it that you need to go? Where it's in your highest good? Where do you feel? centered where you do you feel at peace where do you feel like you're following what your soul is asking of you that's where you need to go that's where you need to go and if with, with vigor because look at how quickly they're moving right now the dolphins also represent positive energy it's why when the crows come to talk to me outside right they'll come up here and they'll land on the palm tree they're talking to me why does that keep going blurry there we go and then they'll land right there on the bird bath, which is two dolphins playing. And I always say they want me to manifest and I manifest by remaining joyful and by playing. So that's one thing you need to do to lift your energy is to play. But if you're surrounding yourself, even if you've got a positive attitude, your positive attitude is going to slip when you're hanging out with people that are negative, right? You manifest well by being positive. So you're doing well, Spirit is saying, but you can do even better and you can even go to a higher level if you go on a negativity diet. Avoid any negative influence, anything. Negative discussions when people, you know those ones, you know, you know that song? 
The person, I always talk about that song because it's just so important. It's just so important. The person that says that, hey, you know, you've gone to the party with the friends and, you know, I don't know what I'm doing here. None of these people are like me. I'm going to be over in the kitchen with the girl who's gossiping about all of her friends. Avoid that. Right? That's a negative person. That's a person that is this dumping garbage into your into your head. The guy who's throwing up in the in, next to her, who wants to hang out with him? You know what? I'm just going to go out in the car. I'll be hanging out in the car because, you know, my friends are hanging here and I'd rather be at home with my buddy kicking it, talking about saving the world. Well, why are you hanging out with those people over there? Leave that sewer. Go with your buddy. Go with your soul's path. Follow the light and get to where that energy is positive. Avoid, turn off TV with those terrible programs, the violent programs, the video games that are all about violence. Why are you putting that pollution into your mind? Stay away from violent movies. Stay away from violent games. God, those video games are horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. And you wonder why you're, you have such a negative view of the world. Don't, and, and the one that's gossiping about all of her friends, don't listen to that gossip. Don't engage in that. I got to go. I'm sorry. I, I'm a little bit busy. Got to go. Excuse yourself. And you know what? When people are constantly negative like that, start deleting people off of your Facebook feed. When, you, when people are on your page and they're constantly putting up negative stuff, why do you have it there? Remove it. You don't need to have it there. You don't even know those people. If you don't know those people, delete them. No problem. I see anybody putting up animals that have been hunted. Beautiful. Somebody put up a deer the other day and it was the deer remember the freckled unicorn the white unicorn with the freckles that we saw the twins that is what that deer looked like and I thought that was the most glorious creature and they shot it dead that person was blocked instantly I don't want to see that kind of stuff don't read pessimistic headlines god you know those people that are constantly talking about the politics and the news yes our president is a psycho but I don't want to sit there and, and, and read and listen to the news stuff and post that shit all day long that doesn't help me that doesn't help anyone that's just putting his pollution into everyone else's mind and everybody else's I don't want to have lists and lists of, of abused people that are being put up there and, and oh this guy did that and you know all these inflammatory headlines that most of the time you don't even know if it's the truth or not anyway I don't want to see it I don't want to see it cleanse yourself of any of that energy that's 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 pushing you in the wrong direction it's causing you to drown in that in that ugh mire so that negativity diet that's gonna cleanse the blocks that are in your way maybe the blocks that are in your way are your own blocks check out this ball here this ball, this solid ball that's sitting there that could be blocking you, but why don't you pick that ball up and make it into a helium ball and kick it around and make some, have some fun with it. Remember that block that the, the one was carrying around on their shoulders and then they flipped it over and they decided to sit on it and use it as a perch, right? Change whatever is a block and turn it into something different because those blocks are slowing down what you're trying to manifest. You're not gonna be able to manifest if you're not hanging out with the positive people in a positive energetic environment. No way. You're sliding down into the muck. Right? That, that lotus will not be rising above the mud. You're going to be squenched and, and that's the end of you. You're going to start rotting. So also feng shui they're talking about. You know, or organize things in a certain manner. Did you know that when you put a fountain, people like water fountains and they like infinity pools. Do you know that when the water runs out over the edge of an infinity pool or the fountains that face out, that means your money and your, your positive energy is flowing away from you? Face the fountain in. On your desk, if you've got a little mini fountain, you know those little mini fountains? Sit it on your desk and have the water pouring towards you. That is abundance coming into you. Feng Shui is important. It'll enhance your surroundings. Also, Spirit's saying, if you've got a bunch of junk that you don't need, it's just junk. You got, you know, It's not that it's useless, it's just that you don't use it. So if you have like three brooms, and I'm looking at mine, I've got two brooms. One's an old broom, I need to throw it away. I've got one out on the patio, but I'm just looking at them right there. Makes me think, do I need two brooms out here? No. So get rid of one. It's cluttering up space. It's energetic space that's cluttered. Now, if you have things that are useful and you never use them, donate them. You're giving away a gift. You're letting someone else have something that's helpful and you're clearing away useless clutter. And even if something is of value, but if you don't use it and it's, and it's, and it's holding negative space because it's not being used. So you wanna remove that. You want things in your environment that you're using that are useful to you. Otherwise, it's cluttering up your energy and your home. So that freshens up the, the space, right? When you move things around. This is all, all this stuff is sitting out here. Now check it out. Let me move all of my, move my stuff so you can see. I usually have all this stuff kind of spread down here. It's just, it's just a place to put the plants and stuff. 
this plant, I moved it out here. Now you're thinking there's a lot sitting out here. There is, but this is my, like my little garden. This is what I've got. You know, I don't have soil, so I put it out here. But it's been moved out here from in, inside. It was dying inside, right? So now it's back outside. It's moved the energy around. It's shifted things in within my house. I am constantly, I mean, I used to, when I owned my homes, I would be painting all the time. My ex-husband would come home and he's like, whose house am I in? Like, come on, constantly changing the colors. But the energy was constantly flowing. So do that. Change things around. Switch things up a little bit. Switch things up, not just in your in your um, in your home, but maybe even just your work desk. Like I'm, I'm constantly rearranging my work desk, right, to keep the energy flowing. It, it's good to keep things moving forward. Like right now out here, there's not much energy moving. It's kind of flat, right? So then, if you're in a stagnant place where the energy isn't moving, get your fans moving in your house, right? Move things around yourself energetically to get the energy moving. And whatever you do, the way you set it up, set it up in a way that's that's providing and, and, and making you feel that you are in a peaceful environment and a prosperous environment. The things that you have should be establishing what it, what it is that you're trying to bring about, promoting what? Creativity, promoting peace. Um, I'm looking at the lion and its wisdom and its courage and its strength, right? My daughter made me this little birdhouse, wisdom. I mean, the things that are sitting around mean things to me. The pine cones represent to me families, family trees, wisdom, pineal gland, crystals, of course, everything. All of these all of these are from my travels, and they all mean things. This reminds me of a community, the soul family, because all of us together forming a solid unit, right? My rocks from Sedona. Look how beautiful that is. Look at the crystals in there. Everything I have means something. No, to you, you may look at that and go, she's got a lot of bunch of shit on her deck. Right now, it makes me feel like it's my little happy garden. Look at the colors. My, my Merlin staff, right? Things that matter. But shift it around. Move it around. Sweep off your porch. Clean things up. Whatever you need to do to get things moving. All right, that's it. I think this, this uh, reading was a little bit more positive. It was. You know what? Okay. I just told me I want one more card. Okay, but I'm tired. I'm tired, so it's playtime for me. And playtime for me is my dream time. I want to go into my dream time. One more card. One more card. That was the most important card about remaining positive. So whatever, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling low, if you don't, if you feel like things aren't moving, keep your energy positive. Remain positive. That's how you manifest. It's coming. Hold on to it. Okay. Well, we made a wish. We were very positive, and now spirit says sit back and allow yourself to receive. That works for me, right? Now, remember, you've asked for help, and abundance is coming to you. And remember, when spirit decides to bring it to you, you have to allow yourself to receive. Don't push away what others are giving you. Like my twin said, don't push away what your soul has been longing for. When it comes, when you, when, what, what, you've asking, what you've been asking for arrives with its arms out, embrace it. This one's sitting there. Allowing someone else to braid their hair. Do you know that braiding hair is, is changing your ideas or, or, or exchanging thoughts? That's what it means in dream time. Receive without guilt or apologies, right? Don't feel guilty when you get something. It makes people happy to give you. It makes spirit happy to give you. And when you're a giver, it makes you happy, right? And you help people all the time, so why shouldn't you receive? Most of the time, you, you're enjoying your giving. Just like me. I give all the time, but I'm really, really tired right now, so I'm going to allow myself to stop, and I'm going to let the universe take care of me today. I'm going to allow myself to receive, because when I do that, I'm saying to the universe, I'm my arms are open, but when you push away what, what spirit wants to give you or when anyone else wants to offer you help, it, no matter what it is, any help, can I, can I take your groceries up for you? No, that's okay. Let them do it. Let them do it, because then you're giving a loud message to the universe that I am willing to receive. And I'm grateful for whatever it is that you wish to bestow upon me. I deserve the best. And I'm going to allow it to come to me. This way you're allowed to replenish, right? I'm going to go sleep right now. I really am. I'm super tired. I might be rambling in this reading. I don't know. I'm tired. So I'm going to allow myself to receive. It's balancing. It's the, the, it's the male and, and, and female energies, the yin and the yang, in, in balance. When, when you give and then you allow yourself to receive. You can't always be the one giving, giving, giving. So in relationships... If it's been you that's been giving, 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 set back a bit and allow them to bring to you, right? You deserve it. Just allow life to flow. It's like Jonathan Livingston Seagull, right? 
The, un the seagull says, allow life to come back to you. Allow the universe to bring it to you. Don't go chase it. Just allow it to come to you. You don't have to do the hard work. You've done a lot, right? And when you're swimming in the ocean and you're going with the flow, you're washing away all of the negative, washing away all the heaviness. You're washing away anything that's stagnant and you're allowing fresh new abundance to come to you. So imagine your body swimming through the water, cleansing water, spiritual water, and, and washing away anything that's built up, any, anything that is not into the highest good that's kind of like a sticky substance all over you. Just wash it away. You know that beautiful feeling when you come out of, out of the water? God, it feels so good. That freshness, right? That's what you want. You want freshness. And when you receive, what a beautiful feeling. It's such a beautiful feeling. It's a healing feeling. It's a very, very powerful step of manifestation if you allow yourself to receive. And that, and it doesn't even have to be stuff. It could be attention. It could be love. You know, if somebody's wishing to love you, somebody just wants to give you a, 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 an emotional hug, take it. What a beautiful feeling, right? What a beautiful feeling, Lily. Lily, do you want to give? Do you want to give? <laughs> she says, no, I want to receive. It's okay. Hi. 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 Is it time for dinner yet again? I think so. Your bowl is empty? What? Is your bowl empty? Oh, my. All right, you guys. I'm going to feed my feline. It's gotten dark. See, I've moved things around in here. I took that plant outside and I decided to put my soul family on my table so I could look at them. That just reminds me of my soul family. Look who else wants to eat. This is funny. Panu. He is aggressive when he wants to eat. You know what? Panu and, and, Li and Lily, they're the same character. Look at the colors. Come on, sweet baby. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, whoa. Did you see that flare? Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Wow, he's feisty. He's feisty today. That's good. That makes me happy. Wow, you're feisty. Did you see him flare his gills up when he came up? Oh, he's doing it again. Who do you think you are? Woo, he says, I know who I am. I know who I am. And be beautiful, and I'm worthy. Whoa, look at that. He's feisty. I like it. I like feisty. Check it out. Very rarely has he done that. So he's feeling strong. That's a really positive sign. I like that. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to give my little chicken. I'm going to give her treaties. Hi, Mama's boy. Hi. Time for treats. You want to watch these guys. You want to watch a 40-pound cat move? Watch this. I don't know why this has to be so blurry. Okay, watch this. Oh. <laughs> oh, who's coming? Who's coming? Big boy's coming. Big boy's coming. Yeah. This is the closest. Oh, okay. Okay, little cranky. See, she's cranky. Here you go. Done for you. These are so cute. I got greenies. Everyone wants, you need to know that these are cat faces, but they're greenies. They're healthier. All right, Crankus. Grumpy cat. I talked about Grumpy Cat earlier today. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> it's you. It's you, Grumpy Cat. Yeah. All right, you guys, that's it. We'll sleep again soon. Make a wish on a shooting star. Right there.